I love talking to people about journeys and their journeys, and yours is fascinating to me. Did you get a call from Bill Belichick on draft day back in 2008, Kevin O'Connell? I did. I did. What was that like? Yeah, he, uh, you know, I, uh, it was about uh, eight to ten picks before, uh, you know, before my name got called. And um, it was it was back then. That was back when uh, the draft took place uh, pretty early uh, on the uh, on uh, Saturday and Sunday, right. you know, when that Sunday round started, the third round, I think California might have started at seven o'clock in the morning. Um, so I was up, kind of. It was, it was uh, obviously didn't sleep all that much the night before. And then the first, uh, the first voice I heard on the phone the next day was Coach Belichick and asking me, uh, you know, some final questions before they pulled the trigger. And um, what an what an opportunity it was for me to go there and be around some of the people, players and coaches that I that I got to be around. It really started kind of my football journey like you talked about that um you know finds me here as the head coach of the minnesota vikings yeah, so so each and every part of the process was you know i feel like it helped me i feel like it put me kind of in the best possible place i could be to be where i'm at now where my where my feet are planted and um you know i'm very very thankful for my time there obviously sure and so um you were there as a rookie and then brady blows his knee out right you were there for that whole situation game, yep Absolutely, and we, at the time, you know, you know, Matt Castle and myself, we we weren't entirely sure who was going to go in the game, and then uh, <laughs> you know, Matt Matt gets his number called and uh, goes in the game, and, and and what a season he had, and to be be there kind of every 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 step of the way with Matt, and and obviously being around a, a great coach like Josh McDaniels, and and so many of the great players we had on offense and defense that year, it really. Um, I mean it when I say it. I mean my football journey wouldn't be what it what it has been, and, and I don't know if I'm sitting here uh, without you know some of the principles and things that I learned uh, through my time there. I'll be it, it was short. I wish it would have been a lot longer yeah. to be honest with you, but um, you know getting to transition from uh, being a part of that organization to the New York Jets and have some success there and see things done completely differently. Um, you know, kind of shaped. Uh, you know, like I said, it shaped who I am as a coach today through those experiences. And so before we get to the here and now a little bit, um, I imagine, did you not have as much that much interaction with Brady because he was he was out with the knee injury or or what was your con- um, exposure to Brady in any way, shape or form? back in that day. Yeah, I, 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 I've always had, you know, so much respect for how he treated me um, as a rookie when obviously through the off season, post draft and into training camp. And then obviously the injury happens, uh, you know, and, and, and that was a, that was a big deal uh, when, yeah. when Tom was, had, had been under center for so many years in a row and so many snaps in a row at that point. Uh, and then, and then to, to obviously, you know, he goes off and, He's handling his rehab and, and doing what he needs to do to make sure he was able to come back that next season. But the second he was able to, he was back in the building, you know, supporting Matt uh, in the quarterback room again. And and I just remember uh, there was no question that I couldn't ask that uh, that that he wouldn't, uh, you know, put some time and, and thought into answering and, and really cared about uh, the you know the things he shared, you know, about the position, about playing the game, about leadership, all those things uh, that make him. Uh, you know, the greatest to ever do it. You know, you get to be around that on a daily basis. You'd be crazy to uh, to uh, not, you know, absorb as much as you can. But, uh, you know, I, I, I kind of lived by the golden rule of, of making sure that uh, I was definitely seen and not heard very much. <laughs> when, uh, you know, when uh, Tom was in that room and there was a lot to be learning on my end as a young player. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here. 